With regard to the ABC website, we really think it, it fails the uh, objectivity, accuracy and right of reply that we expect for quality jur- journalism from the ABC. But you're getting the right of reply now. Indeed, but we think, you know, when you're going to put facts into the public domain and I'm a fact-based person, then consultation with the industry and an ability to make sure we've got it accurate before it goes public is the preferred option. But the Data Journalism Project used figures uh, that were provided by industry as well as government. So what difference does it make? That That is the figures provided that are in the public domain from your members and from government. It's not a complete uh, objective assessment of the, of the figures and uh, it doesn't evenly deal with the facts and the risks around some of the figures that are presented. For example, the uh, the wells that are on the map uh, include wells that are not even coal seam gas wells, and some of those are already plugged and abandoned, uh, and they're being uh, portrayed as production of coal seam gas wells. The other area is that um, they've used numbers like there has been approval for 40,000 wells. There has not been approval for 40,000 wells. It's far less than that. How, uh, 40... how, far, how far less? Well, the, for example, one of the uh, one of the projects typically has about two and a half thousand wells in the initial approval, and then any expansion from that typically requires you to go back to the authorities, justify the case, go through the full environmental approval before you move on to the next phase. But you've just given me um, one project. There's a number of projects on the drawing board. If you're looking at two thousand odd per project, it wouldn't take long to get to forty thousand wells, would it? Well, at the moment, the approval is uh, less than a quarter of the 40,000 that's being put on the website. At the moment, there's less than 40,000. Uh, how long do you think it could be before there are 40,000 then? Well, that work is still in progress. What they have is uh, on the record is to what is required, and that's what the approvals are being sought for the various projects. Any expansion from that will depend on the information we gather, the performance of the wells as we build the history, and then we, I think it's perfectly right, we go back and have to go through the full environmental assessments before any expansion is taken care of. So you said that the, it listed a number of wells that have been abandoned, plugged, or that actually weren't pr- proposed or producing CSG wells. How many? I haven't counted up the total numbers. It's just a very early days, and we really need time to go through. There's quite a lot of information on the website, which is, is always a good thing. I'm a technical person, so I like lots of data. And so it'll take a little time for us to go through there. But the first uh, just cursory look at it uh, clearly indicates that there are uh, conventional wells, wells that have been plugged and abandoned, that are included and portrayed as producing coal seam gas wells. And what, how many did you see, though? I'm wondering, is it, uh, is, is it a couple that you saw that we could extrapolate out? Oh, I need to go back. and I, I want to be fact-based here and make sure I, I get the number correct. There is a public perception image with CSG. You can't deny that. And uh, you would be expected to come out and respond in this way. Are you nitpicking by saying a couple of wells have been stated as one thing and they're not? I don't think it's nitpicking to go, for example, the water story. They're portraying that up to 1,500 gigalitres per annum are going to be withdrawn from the Great Artesian Basin. And that isn't even remotely close to the number that uh, the industry has put forward in their environmental approvals. And to even suggest that 300 gigalitres is a conservative estimate, um, by any measure, that's well in excess of what the industry uh, indicates is what's required. And as the information comes in from the studies, that number's going down, not up. So it's far from the conservative number to be specific. Well, what is the industry saying is the correct figure? Well, it's well well south of the 300, and it depends on whether you go with peaking or... Uh, the average. It's the quantum of the magnitude that's important and also the, the language that's used on the website. So we're moving away from factual errors that you consider the website has to now you're saying that it's a language issue. Well I think it's both. There are factual errors but also there's the language to refer to you know, chemical that's toxic and, and use that language. And in fact, we know toxicities function as not just the chemical, but the dose rate. Um, for example, the chemicals that I put in my swimming pool on a concentrated dose need to be handled quite carefully, but I happily swim in this on a regular basis. So the use of the word toxic without the reference to what is the concentration and dose, I think is, a, is biased uh, reporting. One of the uh, major concerns for people, uh, farmers and others, uh, with coal seam gas is the quality of the water, which is um, then uh, put through a desalination process. Can you tell me a little bit about your concern about that? The reverse osmosis 
um, processes are really state of the art. Um, cities like Singapore, their their principal source of drinking water for the country is through reverse osmosis. So, we think the technology is well tried and tested, and far exceeds uh, most expectations for drinking water. And that's the technology that's the primary use uh, in the in the regional areas with coal seam gas. Isn't it a different type of water that's being uh, brought up, though, or water with other contaminants in it, unlike the, what is it, seawater they're using for reverse osmosis overseas? No, there's no um, material difference there. And reverse osmosis is a very advanced technology and can cope with uh, a wide variety of chemicals and uh, that may be present in the water. 